This is going to be the third video in this video series covering Beaver Themer, which is a new plugin that is coming out. The release is imminent. In the first video, I talked about creating custom layouts with Beaver Themer. In the second video, I covered creating custom headers and custom theme parts, and I explained what the whole theme part concept was and really trying to give you an idea of how powerful the feature really is. And in this video, I'm going to talk about custom fields and what that is. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies. If you like the content you see in this video, I release videos like this almost every day. So if you enjoy it, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. You can click on that and YouTube will send you channel notifications. Let's jump into the whole custom field concept right here. And I have everything organized in somewhat of a slideshow so that I can stay on topic with all this material going on. So, uh, and my slideshow presentation might be a little jacked up. There's some weird thing going on. I export them from Keynote and I put them in my web browser. So uh, we'll just do the best with it. So anyways, custom fields is a concept that is going to really unlock some of the power of Beaver Themer in creating custom layouts. And so let's just talk about custom fields right now and try to talk about what that is. So essentially a custom field is this a, a bit of content that you're going to place into a layout. That's all that it is. So you typically when you go to create a new let's just say a blog post okay you have tied a title and that's separate piece of content and you want to place that where you want to place it. You would have the main content area there and that's a sef separate bit of content and you can put that where you want it. And you might also have a post excerpt and you can place that where you want it. So these are just different bits of information that you can place wherever you want and have them be separate. And that's all a custom field is. It's not really that complicated and there can be different bits of information in these custom fields so you can have an image you can have a video URL so for me I use an embed code or something like that you can have date ranges there's all these different field types and content types that you can place in these custom fields now there's really three ways well there's probably more than three ways so don't like flame me down in the comment section but I'm gonna go over three ways how about that I'm gonna go over three ways to create these custom fields and the first thing it's actually already built into WordPress but most people don't know it it's just enabling it the view of it so if I'm in WordPress right here and I go to posts uh, let me actually go into this fidget spinner post. Let me scroll down. You don't see down here anything that says custom fields because you have to go to screen options and then click on the checkbox that says custom fields and that box will then appear and here it is custom fields now you can do that doesn't cost you anything it's all part of WordPress you can give it a field name and put some content in there and then you can link that into beaver themer and place it wherever you want in your custom layout that's one way of doing it there's another way of doing it with a plugin called advanced custom fields this is a free plugin and they also have a pro version of it it's actually very inexpensive by the way so here is their uh, plugin page on wordpress.org and you can see a lot of people are using this plugin it's active on over a million websites and here is the page for their website right here and uh, let me actually throw this into my clipboard because we're going to use this plugin in this video. Uh, you can read about it here and then here is the pro version. Uh, let me just scroll down to tell you the cost of the pro version. This is not a necessary thing to have but it is a nice way of doing this. So you can see it's extremely reasonably priced for a single site license lifetime updates. It's only 25 bucks and it's 100 bucks for an unlimited license and you don't have to keep paying and you probably aren't going to really need support for this so it's probably good that you can get access to lifetime 
updates for this plugin. So essentially what this does is it allows you to create these custom fields, but you can do it in a more elegant way. So you can use it to create field types where you'll have some data integrity, okay? I'm trying to explain this this the right way. So for example, if one of the field types you want is a date, the if you use something like this, there'll be this pretty calendar fly out where you can check on the date and you're going to know for sure the format of that date is exactly how you want it because there's what like a dozen different ways to format a date or time or things like that so that's one example right there it also has some really advanced ways of putting images in there that you can then use as an image gallery. I know I'm not doing this plugin justice. Feel free to supplement my explanation down below if you have a better explanation of this plugin. Um, but it, let me just actually show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm having a hard time explaining it, but that's all right. We're going to uh, we're going to just use it anyway. So, there's advanced custom fields and then there's another option called pods and pods is a little interesting in that it will allow you to make these custom fields and but it will also give you the tools necessary to create custom post types. So if you have a client or it's your website and you want to create your own custom post type, well, this plugin called pods or the pods framework is going to allow you to do that. And here is the page for pods. It's free. And I really wish they would actually charge some money for it because it's a very powerful tool. But this would be great. So say you want to create a custom post type for a staff directory. You could use pods to do that and set up all the fields and all that. And then you can use Beaver Themer to create the layout. Now, I think the reason why pods doesn't have more active installations, even though it's like, it's it does a lot of amazing things i think it doesn't have more than more active installations because of what i talked about in the first video where creating a custom layout used to be very difficult before beaver themer it was very difficult all custom coding but now that you have beaver themer and you can use beaver builder to create a beautiful custom layout now you can really leverage the power of a custom post type so actually in my next video i'm going to be talking more about about the custom po post types. Right now I'm just really talking about the custom fields, but I wanted to add that this does it, pods does it. So if I was creating a website and I didn't need a custom post type, I would probably go with advanced custom fields. If I was creating a site where I did want a custom post type, I would go with pods and I wouldn't go with advanced custom fields, even if I wanted to add some custom fields to say a post or something like that. Now, a lot of this is going to make sense when I actually show you right now how to use it all and how we're going to use it all to kind of tie all this information together. All right, so let's just go for it, huh? So um, let me go and install advanced custom fields now. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, actually let me show you how to use just a create a custom field without, without using advanced custom fields. So I showed you how to show the custom fields options. You just click on screen options, check on the box that says custom fields, and then you're going to have a new box down here that says custom fields. So all we have to do is click on enter new, and then we need to give this field a name. So I'm going to name this uh, video embed. So there it is, video embed, and then I'm going to paste an embed code from YouTube. So I'm going to go get it now. Okay and I'm going to paste it in. So there is an embed code for a video on YouTube and then I'm going to click on add custom field and now I've created my first custom field and I've put some data in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've got that field name, right? It's called video embed and so essentially this is a bit of information that I want to appear in a different place than if I say put that link in the content here so because I have it separate I can place it wherever I want in the post template that I created with beaver themer so let me go into beaver themer right here 
and I'm gonna go into my theme layout. Oops, I don't know what I just clicked on. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go into my blog layout right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Launch Page Builder. And here we are. So this was my post template that I created in Beaver Themer. In fact, you should be able to see it when I click right here. All right, there it is. So now, because I have this new custom field that has a video embed, I can place that anywhere I want, separate from everything else, okay? That's what we have these custom fields for. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll use the video module, let's see. So the video type, I'm gonna choose embed, and this is one of the features of Beaver Themer. I have this little plus right here, and when I click on it like this, I can choose post custom field like that, and then I need to put the name of it, and that's why I copied the name of the custom field. So I just need to paste that in right there, and then click on save. All right, so now it's in there, and whoa, there it is. You can see it already pulled it in just like that. Now I can do some fun things with this. If I don't want it to be so large, I can change the spacing, I can put some negative padding, I can do some fun things with this now. Uh, so let's actually do some of that, why not? So I'm gonna go right here on the row. Why don't I pull it up a little, like maybe give it a negative 100, so I have it overlaying just a tiny bit like that. Let's see how that looks. That yeah, looks fine. All right, but I, it's a little too large for me, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of margin on the left and the right. Not 1500, how about 150? There we go. There we go. And uh, there it is, there it is, there is my video. Now let's see, I might want to give this column some background color to make it stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna click on the wrench here and, uh, nope, that was my video settings. Oops, I'm gonna click right here and then go to my column settings. Okay, so let's give it a background color and let's choose a color. So let's go with, I don't know, see how it's giving it kind of like a video frame? Uh, let's see here, let's just choose something. How about this? There we go, we got a nice little frame there. And let's see, can I round out my corner? Actually, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, so that's fine, I just wanted to give it a little frame there. Let's see, I thought I could round it out, but I must be mistaken. That's okay, let's see, da, 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 border. I can give it a border if I wanted like that as well, but I'm not going to. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And I gave my video a nice little frame there. And you could, you could see how easy that was. And it's because I used a custom field for the data. Let me click on save, publish changes. And let's do a refresh right here and see how different that looks. Oh, there it is, there is my video and I've got the nice little frame around it and then there's my post content. You saw how easy it was to do that. Now, typically, if you wanna put a video, you would maybe put your embed code in with the content, but then you couldn't do something different with it and that's why you use this custom field feature and you saw how easy that was to implement and it didn't cost any money, really. I used what was already built into the theme there. So now let's see what it's like doing the same thing with advanced custom fields. So I'm gonna go to plugins, add new, and do a quick search for it. Advanced custom fields like that. Now I've never used the free version, I use the paid version and it's a little bit ahead of the free version. So the free version is uh, I think on version four, the paid one is on version five, but I do think it'll catch up here soon. I'll go ahead and click on install now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and activate it and look at all these little add-ons for it, that's pretty cool to extend what you can do with advanced custom fields. So now what I'm gonna do is, it's gonna add this new option here that says custom fields. So let's just go through this together and this is actually my first time doing this on this 
older version but the free version so I'm click on add new and the way it works is you create fields but you can group these fields together so it's kind of organized and makes sense so for a video post I might want several fields that I create or I might just want one I can group them all together that's the point uh, so let's just go ahead and call this a video post Okay, we've got that there, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add Field right here. So I'm gonna give it a label and then a name. Okay, what I did was I gave it the label Video Embed, and so this is what I'm gonna see when I'm in my post. But right here for the field name, I gave it a different field name. So you saw the one that I manually created, I called it Video Embed. So this one I named it Video Embed Code because I don't know if there's going to be a clash there if I tried to name it the same. I should find that out. And if you already know the answer to that, please leave it down below in a comment section. And this is what's nice. Now you can choose the field type and it will only accept that type of information. So say I choose number and I want a number in this field. If someone tries to enter text, it's just not going to take it. And that's the benefit of using advanced custom fields is you can have these field types that will only accept that type or that format of information so then when you go to insert it into your layout it's going to be a consistent experience so for this I could honestly just use text I don't have to use more than text for this so I'm just going to choose on text I can write some field instructions I can make it required or not I can put a default value placeholder tasks text uh, prepend append formatting I can also limit how many characters it will accept and then there's also this conditional logic now just like in beaver themer where you can assign layouts and things to locations it's the same thing with this advanced custom field so I'm not asking for this video embed on every post because if the post isn't a video post why ask for a video embed it's just going to have a nice cleaner visual experience when you're in the back end here of wordpress so you can choose a post type if you wanted to or you could choose a post category or a format or all or anything like that so for me i would probably tag a video post with the tag video post and that's how Beaver Themer would know to apply this particular layout. And that's how Advanced Custom Fields is going to know to give me these field options. So I'm going to just leave it on post type right now. And I'm going to, I'm going to use all of them. But you have some really good uh, targeting options right here. Okay, so let's uh, scroll down. You've got an order number. This is if you are saying creating 10 different custom fields, how you can order them. You can just assign them a number and then they will order that way. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. Hopefully this worked. You saw how easy that was. Okay, so now when I click on custom fields, you see it right there. It's all grouped where it says video post. And I can know just to come right here, for that so now let's see what happens when I go into posts okay I'm gonna go into that same post right here I'm gonna scroll down and you'll see the difference so you saw how kinda ugly or clunky or there's this opportunity to make mistakes when I did it the native WordPress way with the custom fields well look at this now it says video embed and it's right there and this is going to appear on every post so all I have to do is paste it in so this right here is the custom fields way and this is the advanced custom fields way so I'm going to paste it in and just like that and I'm going to remove this right there and then I'm gonna click on update in fact I might as well just hide the custom fields altogether by going to screen options custom fields so now when I scroll down I just have my normal what the blog asks for and then right here this new custom field I created and you saw how easy that was and I've got my info in there so I'm gonna go ahead and click on update just like that and if you if I do a refresh here you're gonna see it's it's gonna be all jacked up there it is because I don't have any data in that field I need to change that 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my theme layout and show you how to link in this advanced custom fields field. So let's see, it's right here. It was my blog layout right here. And then I'm going to go into the page builder again and we're going to see my page template that I created. And I want to get in here. So this is where my video embed code was going to go. I'm going to delete that link to the custom field because now I'm using advanced custom fields. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus. And what do you notice is different before? It only, it only gave me the option to link it up with a custom field. But now, because Beaver Themer knows I have advanced custom fields installed, it's giving me options that relate to advanced custom fields. So anyways, it's right here, ACF post field. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose the field type, which was text. And then right here, I'm going to put in that field name. And actually, I haven't done this in a little bit. I think it wants... Well, it probably wants the field name, not the label. So it would have been video embed code. So let me enter that. Let's see if this works. I sure hope it does, but I don't know. Let me click on save. Oh, good. I did get that right. All right. So now I can click on done and publish changes. And you can see when I go here, I'm going to do a refresh and you're going to see my video. It's right there. And this is now using advanced custom fields free plugin. So I guess the main benefit of using advanced custom fields is all the power tools it gives you to create these custom fields and group them and create an easy to visualize interface in the back end to put the actual data in. And you could put all kinds of different data types. That's the power of it. You can put images and then you can link up that image with the image widget in Beaver Builder. So there's all these different content types that you can add to your website and then slip it right into one of these layouts. Let me show you that again so you can see. Now whenever I want to, actually here, if I want to create a new post, that's perfect. I'm going to click on add new. And so what do you do? You put your title, you put your content, and there it is asking me for that video embed. So I can do everything on the back end and then link, it's going to link up with that beaver theme or template and it's going to put everything where I want it to go. It's going to be consistent every time and it's just going to look perfect. And this is the power of beaver themer because, you know, in six months I might like the way it looks here, but I might, you know, say, huh, I want that video someplace else or I want to change this layout. You go into beaver themer, you spend five minutes, you make it how you want, and then it propagates across your entire website and you you've instantly changed the layout of all of your posts that you assigned this layout to. So I hope you can see the power of custom fields. I hope this basic demonstration of creating a custom field, also using advanced custom fields and linking it into Beaver Themer. Now, obviously you might want to go and take a look here at advanced custom fields, their website, and you can see all the different field types and all the different benefits. I think there's going to be such power in the gallery uh, features of it. Uh, there's date ranges. There's so many different options here that you can look at and especially the pro one. I think this one I mean you look at what you need if you don't need what's in the pro don't buy the pro but you might look at it and say huh this is going to unlock some really powerful solutions that I can implement on my website and there's time saving options here for cloning fields and there's just a lot more to it uh, so anyways this is custom fields now if you have anything to add to this conversation and I sure hope you do Go ahead and leave a comment down below of maybe how you're already using advanced custom fields or any special tips or, or tricks with using advanced custom fields or maybe some more use case scenarios that we might not be thinking about right now. We're getting close to the launch of this plugin and the end of this video series. In the next video, I'm going to cover actually creating a custom post type and I'm going to be using pods in that video tutorial and also show you some of the other options for creating custom post types. I hope you're enjoying this video series and you consider clicking on that subscribe button and I will also put the links to everything in the video description box down below.